Is everything all right here, Jim? What the hell do we have here? Well, look, Jimmy, one of Santa's little helpers has come to help you a little. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> My name's Charlie. It's OK, Charlie. I'll sort this out. Where are you going? These two puffed as a... They're puffed as? What are you talking about, Sarge? <laughs> He's gay, mate. Nah. He's got a girlfriend, Alice. We broke up. Did you not tell me that you were in a sexual relationship with this man? This is a footy club, not a freak show. Let's all settle down, fellas. Tell him, Jim. Tell him it's not true. You're cool. You misunderstood. Yeah. Which bit have I misunderstood? You've misunderstood the bit where I give a fuck at what you think about me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. I'm such a wanker on the piss. I'm never going back there again, that's it. You're about to become a father, Owen. I'll make it up to Marie. I'll make amends. I have a plan. The capital of Belgium is Prague. No, no, it's not. What's wrong with this car? Oh, shit! should start seeing other people effective immediately. Now, can I have my letter back, please? I never told Alice that I love her. Oh, man, are you retarded? Is that politically correct? I'm in a special group. I can get away with it. When you say never, you mean rarely, right? Never. Once? Not once. Never. What is wrong with you? You're the silly bugger who backed the car into a tree. It was him. It was Bricks. What's the nicest thing you've ever said to Alice? A couple of weeks ago, I told her that I liked a new haircut. What did she say? Not much. Turns out she hadn't actually had a haircut. It was windy. I thought it looked nice. Sorry, boys, I just gotta go and sort these bastards out, all right? Listen to me, because it's important that you know this. You are, without a doubt, the worst boyfriend in the world. That's a bit harsh. What about that guy in Belgium who kept his girlfriend in a dungeon? That was his mother, not his girlfriend. Now, look, we're getting off the point here. Do we have a deal? What makes you think I can't deliver the letter myself? Because it was dated three and a half years ago. Fuck's sake, boys. Look, I'll do the whole thing for 300 bucks, all right? As long as you don't tell anyone about what happened out there. What, what happened? happened? Yeah, good. Uh, look, normally I'd have it ready by Saturday, but I'm taking the missus to Noosa for a long weekend, so I... Shit, I was brick. I just remembered. I'll get here some fucking flowers. Never ends. Jill, can we organise some fucking flowers? Look, I will do whatever it takes to get your letter to Francesca if you just give me ten minutes with your mind and I'll bring the pen. time to be married. Hell, 50 years is a long time to live. When I want you to look at Frank. Really, look at him. Now, I want you to remember the day he returned home. From Korea, right, Frank? Yeah, Pak Chon, 1951. Remember when he returned home in 1951? Not just the day. I want you to remember when you laid eyes on him. And Frank, I want you to remember when you saw Gwen. In Sydney Harbour. In that purple dress. I remember that first kiss. Come on, mate, it's just a photo. It's not about the photo, Frank. Oh. Got it. That was 
just learn Mantic. You can spot it. Good for you. They are going to have sex tonight because of you. Oh, you just ruined the moment. Now, if nothing else, but to erase the imagery you just put in my head, tell me about this girl of yours. Alice. Yeah, tell me about Alice. What do you want to know? What do you love about her? Just one thing. Could be anything. Okay, because here's the thing, Jim. You're supposed to notice things in Alice that everyone else misses or doesn't take the time to see. Just one thing. She smiles in her sleep. Never seen anything look so peaceful. There's no snoring, no drooling. She farted once, but don't tell her I told you that. She'd be devastated. How does that make you feel? A bit on the nose, actually. I had to open a window. And you and the smiling in her sleep, how does that make you feel? Happy, I guess. I'll send her a text message. No, no, do not send her a text. Just do not, do not, do not, I promise you. Okay. Text messaging is the end of romance. Nope, oh, got a... So tell me about Francesca. Is she hot? It's not about her being hot. Where did you meet her? <sighs> Different places. At the store, on the bus. Why didn't you say hello? It's very complicated. No, it's not, Charlie. I mean, you, you are a great guy. Why wouldn't she be into you? I'm four foot six. So? Short girls get it on with short guys, don't they? I am assuming that Francesca is... And she isn't, is she? It doesn't matter, Charlie. I mean, you are a good man. And you have your shit together. Trust me, I would rather be three foot and together than six foot and fucked. Well then, it's time to put your pen to paper, Romeo. Your ten minutes is up. You gave her my letter. I just want her back. You won't get her back if you keep taking shortcuts. And I can't help you, Jim, if you don't want to help yourself. Help me help myself. They have to be your words. I can only help you break them out of there. Okay. Is there anything we need? Wine.